A radio tube, also known as a vacuum tube or electron tube, is an electronic device that amplifies or controls the flow of electrical current in a vacuum. It was a fundamental component of electronic circuits in the early to mid-20th century before being largely replaced by transistors and other solid-state devices. Radio tubes come in various types, but I'll provide a general overview of how they work. 1. Components of a vacuum tube Cathode The cathode is a heated element inside the vacuum tube that emits electrons when heated. In most tubes, the cathode is heated by passing a current through it, causing it to emit a cloud of electrons. This process is called thermionic emission. Anode, or plate, the anode, often referred to as the plate, is a positively charged electrode located within the vacuum tube. It attracts the electrons emitted by the cathode. Grid, the grid is typically a metal mesh or wire structure placed between the cathode and anode. It can be made negatively or positively charged to control the flow of electrons between the cathode and anode. Vacuum, the tube is evacuated of air to create a vacuum. This is essential because electrons move more freely in a vacuum than in air, allowing for efficient electron flow control. 2. Operation of a radio tube When the cathode is heated, it emits a cloud of electrons due to thermionic emission. These electrons form a cloud or electron stream around the cathode. The grid's voltage can be adjusted to control the flow of electrons from the cathode to the anode. If the grid is negatively charged, it repels electrons, reducing the flow from cathode to anode. Conversely, if it is positively charged, it attracts electrons, increasing the flow. By modulating the voltage on the grid, small variations in the grid voltage can cause significant variations in the flow of electrons from the cathode to the anode. This property allows vacuum tubes to amplify weak electrical signals. The electrons flowing from the cathode to the anode constitute an electric current, which can be used for various purposes, such as amplification in radio receivers and transmitters. 3. Applications Vacuum tubes have been used in a wide range of applications, including radio and television broadcasting, amplification in audio systems, early computers, radar systems, and more. 4. Advantages and Disadvantages Advantages of vacuum tubes include their ability to handle high power signals, robustness, and the fact that they can function at high temperatures. Disadvantages include their relatively large size, the need for high operating voltages, limited lifetime due to cathode wear, and the generation of heat. This video is sponsored by Altium Designer. The link is below the video, in the description box. Types of Vacuum Tubes There are several types of vacuum tubes, each designed for specific purposes. Some common types include 1. Triode The triode vacuum tube has three main components, a cathode, an anode, and a control grid. It was one of the earliest vacuum tube designs and was widely used for amplification and signal processing. 2. Tetrode Tetrode vacuum tubes have an additional electrode called the screen grid between the control grid and the anode. The screen grid helps improve the tube's performance and reduce certain issues, such as screen grid current. 3. Pentode Pentode vacuum tubes have two additional electrodes compared to triodes, the screen grid and the suppressor grid. The suppressor grid helps reduce electron flow between the screen grid and the anode, improving efficiency and reducing distortion. 4. Vacuum diode Vacuum diodes consist of only a cathode and an anode. They allow electrons to flow in one direction only, making them suitable for rectification, converting AC to DC, and as radio detectors. A vacuum tube amplifier is an electronic device that uses vacuum tubes, also known as electron tubes or thermionic valves to amplify audio or radio frequency signals. These amplifiers were widely used in the mid-20th century and continue to be popular among audiophiles and musicians due to their unique sound characteristics. Here's how a vacuum tube amplifier works. Components of a vacuum tube amplifier A typical vacuum tube amplifier consists of the following main components. 1. Vacuum tubes, the heart of the amplifier. Vacuum tubes amplify the input signal. In a tube amplifier, You'll often find multiple tubes, each serving a specific purpose. Common types used in tube amplifiers include triodes, tetrodes, and pentodes. 2. Transformers Transformers are used for impedance matching and to step up or down the voltage of the signal. They play a crucial role in coupling different stages of the amplifier. 3. Resistors and capacitors These passive components are used to shape the response of the amplifier circuit, set the gain, and control the frequency response. 
4. Input and output jacks. These are connectors where you plug in your audio source, for example, a guitar, microphone, or music player, and speakers or headphones. Operation of a vacuum tube amplifier. The operation of a vacuum tube amplifier can be broken down into several key steps. 1. Signal input. The input signal, which could be an audio signal from a musical instrument or any other source, is connected to the amplifier's input jack. 2. Pre-amplification, optional, some tube amplifiers have a pre-amplification stage that further boosts the weak input signal. This stage often uses a small signal vacuum tube, such as a 12x7, to increase the signal's voltage. 3. Amplification, the main amplification stage typically consists of power tubes, for example, EL34, 6L6, KT88, that are responsible for significantly increasing the signal's power. This stage operates as follows. A. The input signal is applied to the control grid of the power tube. The control grid's voltage can be adjusted to control the flow of electrons from the cathode to the anode, plate, of the tube. B. As the control grid voltage varies with the input signal, it modulates the flow of electrons from the cathode to the anode. This modulation of electron flow amplifies the input signal. C. The amplified signal appears at the anode and is coupled to the output transformer. 4. Output transformer. The output transformer serves multiple purposes. It matches the high impedance output of the power tubes to the low impedance of the speaker, providing impedance matching for efficient power transfer. It also isolates the high voltage at the anode from the speaker and provides a way to adjust the amplifier's overall gain and frequency response. Altium Designer, is the world's most trusted, PCB design system. Altium Designer, enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet, of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation, and development focused, on a truly unified design, environment makes it the most widely, used PCB design solution. With Altium Designer, you can create PCB designs, with an intuitive, and powerful interface, that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. You can get Altium Designer, for free, through the link below the video, in the description box, register immediately, to start designing your projects. Altium 365 Design, the fastest design review ever, allows you to share your designs, from anywhere and with anyone, with a single click. Also you can trust, Octopart, electronic component, insights experience to recommend, the best components to fit your criteria so you can focus more on problem solving, and thinking creatively.